Walter Rovke, Green Kieda Granelida, Kosan Olish. Uh, welcome once more to uh, a path of information or knowledge. It's been a bit slow coming because it's a complicated one. Well, a new time you can lock my other no fun of egg sola, cry hot, spread out of the physical. Today we're going to talk and trying to explain the difference between spiritual energy, creative energy, and physical energy, as far as I have learned in my 66 years of life so far. Um, they're not the same thing, they're all very different. And I have spent the last four or five weeks trying to think of how to explain the difference. So it's something like this if we say that. There's an energy field which relates to physicality and an energy field that relates to spirituality and an energy field that relates to creativity. Spridatacht. Kruijacht. And this physical, we'll say. And Bisho, this energy. And the reality is that we exist in between these. We're in the middle like this here. Now, as we live our lives, usually we concentrate on one aspect of, of uh, energy. There's one to the four, usually the physical sense of existing in this three-dimensional uh, system governed by time. So, but we delve into different um, energies and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, call this one Spridatacht here, um, and we'll assign a colour to it. Let's say, uh, blue. So, and we'll assign another colour to, to, to uh, creativity, let's say, Red. And then we'll go again for the physical. I should have said red really with that, but it doesn't make any difference. You'll understand what I'm saying now in a second. As we live our lives, we tend to concentrate on one or the other, and we tip that energy as we become aware of it. So, for example, if we become aware of the, the physical energy, it will leach into our lives. As we come, become aware of the Spiritual energy, it'll leach into our lives, and as we become aware of the creative energy, it'll leach into our lives. The dominant colour of our lives is dependent on the energy that we mostly concentrate on. So you'll find that, um, for example, somebody that concentrates on the, the spiritual energy, in this case the blue, will be mostly blue in colour. In other words, we'll be mostly, we'll ignore the physical side of things and the creative side of things to a certain degree. So they might be dishevelled or, uh, you know, not very worried about the physical trappings of living a physical life. In the same way, if you're living uh, a, a creative life, many is the artist whose hair is wild <laughs> and who might be dressed differently to the usual people who live in the very physical world. Now, that doesn't mean to say that one can't do one or two other things as well as the main energy that you have, but it does mean that you have, generally speaking, a, a dominant energy, and they all work differently. So, 
this idea of different energies leaching into our lives and they are not leaching equally depending on our own situation is kind of the first thing I want to point out. And the second thing is, they are not like three fields coming like this, where we dance in between them like a triangle held between three different magnetic fields. It's not like that. One of them is underneath us, or all around us, which is the physical, and we're standing on that. And one of them is the opposite, the spirit, spirit, spiritual or spiritalta. And then we dance ourselves in between. So where is the creative? The creative is inside in us. It's inside in us. So if we, if we uh, awaken something out of the creative and bring it out, we are actually bringing it out into existence in this world and it cannot be shoved back again. It's, it's, it cannot be uncreated. It cannot be uncreated. But it's interesting to see how, in that scenario, the spiritual and the physical touches the creative. So, we are... This is us here. We have the ability to be creative. If we unlock it, will it be touched by the physical or by the creative or by both? So, Shnein Unvri Ata Aragum Liv Gulche Simul. It's interesting to regard creativity in this way. If we are the instrument of the creativity, it's from way inside in us here, and we bring it into this existence, we can't shove it back anymore. So once a poem is written, it can never be unwritten or created, uncreated. Once a wonderful painting, that concept is made of that, those juxtaposition of colours and the thoughts in it are put together. It cannot be undone. Once a piece of music has been put together, it, cannot, it may be forgotten, but it cannot be undone. But the spiritual energy that we, that's in our lives, we have to take it from outside this existence. We have to draw it in. The creative, we draw it out from within ourselves. The spiritual from outside into this existence. And we are of this female existence because we're created by female energy uh, and we come on this, from this planet with all its wonderful dimensions uh, and creativity within it, in its own right. So when we talk about creating pieces of music in the next talk or the talk after, this is, I'm trying to explain where creativity comes. And therefore, if it's a physical, if we, physical energy is intellectual energy, that's not creative energy. The in intellect, the intelligence, the computer is used as the tools to allow us to fabricate the creativity. Um, the spiritual sometimes is an energy that drives it. In my case, for example, I draw on spiritual energy very much when I'm working with things like the sounds, which is a big project I've been working on for many years now, the 150 sounds, and setting them to music. And in that context, all those pieces of music are created with the text, the ideas that are in the text driving the formation of the lines and structures of the piece of music itself. So it's a dance between the spiritual and the physical and the creative we ourselves providing that reverse point, if you like, that's deep inside of this, uh, to make them all work together. So, as you can see, the first thing is that the first thing is that the first thing is that That's what today is about, is to try and describe that node, so that in the future talks we can talk about the creative or the spiritual. The physical, I have very little knowledge of, except when it comes to things like gardening and nature and uh, herbology and things like that. But uh, the, my, the place that I'd like to talk about and part with the information that I've acquired over the years is in the areas of creative and of spiritual. So, good evening, and a special shout out to my patrons because they're the people that make it possible for me to set aside time to do this thinking and to talk to you. So, good evening,